focused on this for a while and he built stairs coming down for a hot summer days. And this was filled with water, the bottom piece. So he had a boat and stuff at the bottom. And, yeah. Wow. He spent two hot summer days down here. That's a lot for me. <laughs> We are at another sinkhole now. This one's right in the city of Mount Gambier. And here it is. This one's a lot deeper. All right, so we're in Port Augusta and we're just stocking up on some supplies before we head to the Nullabar. And we just found a 18 pack of butane, but we didn't need that much butane. So we actually found someone that was looking to get just a few butanes as well. So then we ended up splitting the box and then we just did six each. For nine bucks. Nine bucks. Good morning, guys. We are halfway across Australia and we're in a little town called Kimba. And it's the halfway point between all of Australia. Start, we started in Melbourne and we're going all the way to Perth. And this is just a small little town that we just camped in overnight. Originally right down here in Tassie. Then we took a boat over to Melbourne. And then we've come all the way across to the halfway point in Kimba. We still got another half to go, including the desert of the Nullabar right here, where it's gonna be a couple days, no service. Just a few roadhouses, which are just like gas stations with some food. So it should be interesting. And we're a little worried because we have a 2001 Mazda Tribute. It's just an old car and it's just going, the transmission slipping. So we're just hoping just to get there. So we're a little nervous, but I think we got it. We have this big giant bird called the Gala to greet us. As well as there's a cool little ostrich over there. This is a free camping facility uh, by donation built from the city. And they got everything you need. They got showers, toilets, camp kitchen. So we got a good spot right by the washrooms and showers. All right, dinner is served in Kimba. Having a good time in this little town. It's very warm, much warmer than Tasmania. And we made some chicken burgers. Some really good burgers. We got cheese, avocado, onions, lettuce. Half an old garlic bread. Half an old garlic bread. <laughs> We're just having lunch in the middle of nowhere. Made it to our first stop on the Erie Peninsula and it's the Tale Cave. And we're in the cave right now and the water is coming in. The tide's rolling in, but it's got a long way to go to get all the way to the back here. Our car is actually parked in a parking lot above here. So we're a little worried, but hey, we should be good. The sign is telling us that wind and erosion over time has weathered these rocks. And the sand inside has preserved it for over 33,000 years. Wild. 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 They're called Murphy's Haystacks because farmers would mistake them for haystacks back in the day, even though they're just rocks. Well, this one's really unique. So we're noticing on our trip across Australia especially as we approach the Nullabar. Everyone has these big rigs towing trailers. And then there's just us with the little blue car and our pod on top. We're now having a little break in the town of Streaky Bay. <laughs> Oh, 
last grocery store for the next this expires today 1200 or so miles <laughs> that was 99 cents <laughs> <laughs> and we got some essentials we got coconut sriracha some bean hair sprouts. some bean sprouts on clearance everything on clearance for 50 cents we were just going in for water and we came up with this stuff so i don't know what's going on <laughs> all right gotta get some water for the next 1200 miles here in beautiful Seduna. I think we could drive across the Nullabar faster than filling up this water. <laughs> this is Australia's biggest windmill. They found it in Queensland and they brought it all the way here to Penang on the Nullabar. And we're literally just in the middle of nowhere amongst all these other windmills. You even gotta watch out for camels. <laughs> Night one on the Nullabar and we're cooking up a little stir fry with some tofu. place is like I've never been to Africa but it's like a savanna it's beautiful dinner served tofu stir-fry it looks so good all right so we're still making our way through the Nell bar we started the day just outside of Seduna and now we are here at the roadhouse and next up is WA, Western Australia. But we still got a ways to go. We're at the old Nullabar Roadhouse. The new one's just over there. But this one's really cool and they just left it here. It's just super old. It's become kind of like an antique. I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze All right, so we have now crossed into WA Western Australia and we're just checking out this sand dune with this old telegraph station Night 2 in the desert and it's ramen noodles while watching Narnia. Good morning guys, it's day eight on the road since we got to the mainland and day two on the Nullabar. And we made it to the 90 mile straight. It's Australia's longest straight road for 146.6 clicks. This road was very straight for a long time so we went a little crazy. You know you're in Western Australia when you see a lot of red dirt everywhere. All right, we're watching the surfers do their thing here at Twilight Beach. And we have a little friend that has joined us here in the audience. So this black, they call it black rock, it's just super slimy and it's like an ice rink. You like put your foot and you just slip right off and a lot of people say to watch out for it because you can slip, hit your head and end up in the water. So we're staying at a little beach house right by the ocean here in Esperance. And the oven stopped working, so now we're air frying our pizza. This jetty's really cool. It even has a little underground area below. 
right up close to the water. I would jump in right now, but I've been hearing a lot of sharks are in this area. Great whites, tiger sharks, all kinds. And the coastal town of Esperance is known for some of the best beaches in the world. We're celebrating today with some pancakes on the beach here at Lucky Bay. It's just been voted number one best beach in the whole world. They got so many cool rock for me all along the cliffs here. Trying to find this cool beach spot in Wiley Bay. We ended up finding these really cool sand. Feels like we're in the desert. Good morning guys, we are headed to Perth today and our first little stop is to check out this big rock that looks like a wave. It's called Wave Rock. And we've made it to Perth. The road trip is complete from Melbourne all the way to Perth. We're watching a beautiful sunset go down. Our road trip across Australia was complete, and with that, so was our adventures roaming around the land down under. Home is where the heart is, and we absolutely loved Australia for the last eight and a half months. Lasagna. Where these rivers flow, where the wind chooses, where the wind blows, the sun is gonna rise. I love the ocean. <laughs> 